Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, let us join it together as we will dive into adding apps to your online store. A crucial step because at some point, you might want to incorporate features that go beyond the basic Shopify functionalities. So, here's how you can enhance your store's capabilities with the right apps. When you are in your Shopify dashboard, look to the left side where you'll find the Add Apps option. Click on it and it will take you to Shopify App Store, akin to the App Store on your smartphone. This is where you will find a wide array of apps to enhance your store's functionality. For instance, let's say you want to showcase your Instagram feed and stories on your store and keep it updated in real time. You can simply type in Instagram in the search bar to explore available apps tailored for this purpose. However, a word of caution. Many apps come with subscription fees, so adding too many could significantly increase your monthly store expenses. Let's take a closer look. Among the options for showcasing your Instagram feed, you might find one like InstaFeed which offers a free plan. Click on it and then it's a process similar to downloading an app to your smartphone. Afterward, you will need to click on Install App. Next, the app will guide you through the setup process. In this case, you will need to connect your Instagram account so the app can display your feed on the store. Once this setup is complete, return to the store editor. Now, when you want to add this app to your store's layout, go to the editor and click on Add section. Under the Apps section, you will see the InstaFeed app you just installed. Add it, and lo and behold, your live InstaFeed is now directly embedded on your page. This is just one example of what you can achieve with apps. Whenever you find yourself wanting to incorporate features that go beyond Shopify score features, be sure to explore the App Store to see if there is a suitable solution. It is also a good practice to occasionally switch from desktop view to the mobile view to check how your page appears on mobile devices. While Shopify Responsive Editor ensures most elements adapt automatically, you may find specific controls for mobile versions in some sections. For instance, you can align text differently or adjust layouts for mobile friendliness. Now, we are nearly done setting up your new Shopify store. There are just a few more back-end settings to address. Return to your Shopify dashboard, navigate to Online Store, and click on Preferences. Here, you will want to add a homepage title and a short description to help your store appear in search engine results. Scroll down to the password protection section and disable it so people can access your store. Note that to do this, you will need to choose a Shopify plan. Save your changes and click on Pick a plan. You can choose the basic plan which includes all the features you need and offer an additional 3 months for only $1 per month. Make your selection and choose your billing cycle, monthly or yearly. If you want the extended trial, opt for the monthly plan. Ensure your billing cycle is confirmed and furnish your business address and payment details. Click on Start Plan to proceed. After completing this step, navigate back to the Online Store section. Locate Preferences and there, you'll find the option to uncheck the password protection. By doing so, you are granting access to your store for visitors worldwide, making your products and content readily available. It is important to note, as you can observe, I am currently unable to disable the password protection because I haven't upgraded my plan yet. I am demonstrating this so you have a clear understanding of the process when you are ready to take this step and open up your store to the world. With these steps, you are well on your way to creating a thriving online store. In the next videos, I will be discussing payment providers, shipping, taxes, and adding domain. So stay tuned and subscribe on our channel so you will be updated. I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching and see you into the next video.